I just want to wish everybody a happy Resurrection Sunday that's just around the corner and remind you that the resurrection and the power of the resurrection is something that we ought to embrace. The fact that because we have trusted Christ, we ought not to fear the things of this world. You see, the Christian faith is not based on wishful thinking or a hopeful expectation in the sense that we're just wishing it might happen. It is a certain expectation, a sure thing that will come to pass in the future. Jesus Christ showed himself alive after his passion or his suffering by many infallible or indisputable proofs being seen of his apostles and hundreds of others after he rose from the dead. It's the power of this resurrection that we ought to focus on, not just in the spring, but each and every day. You know, when Jesus was on the cross, there were three hours when the world went dark as he suffered in our place. And the three days following had to be the darkest hours and the darkest days of all of human history. Thinking that the light of the world had been extinguished, thinking that the Messiah, the Christ, the world's one and only hope, had been brutally crucified on the cross at Calvary, but not understanding that he would rise from the dead. It had to be a dark time. But we know the story. We know the truth. Jesus himself spake, saying, I am the light of the world. John 8, 12. It's the light of the gospel through the resurrection in the fact that God raised Christ from the dead, that we found hope, that we found forgiveness, that we found eternal life through faith in him. The devil's the one who's putting people into darkness, blinding the minds of them that believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who's the image of God, should shine unto them. And the fact that he died for their sins, according to the scriptures, that he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures. That's the power of the resurrection. Christ tells us in Matthew 5 to let your light shine before men. Ephesians 5, 8 tells us we were sometimes darkness, but now we're light in the Lord that we ought to walk as children of the light. The resurrection, if you read the book of Acts, was never minimized. It was never excluded from the gospel message. He was raised for our justification. In Acts 13, 29, 30, it says, When they had fulfilled all things that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher, a grave. But God raised him from the dead. It goes on to tell us in the same chapter, Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And by him, all that believe, simple faith, are justified, declared righteous from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. You see, the Christian faith is not about setting aside just one day to think about the resurrection, though I love the, the season. Our faith without the resurrection is vain. But the fact that it's true, the fact that it's real, the fact that it's concrete, rooted in fact, makes our faith 
as sure as sure can be. You see, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead, and he offers eternal life and forgiveness of sins to all who will simply believe in him that he did that for them personally. So I hope you have a very happy and blessed resurrection day and weekend and contemplate what Jesus Christ did when he gave himself for us while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us and rose from the dead to give us the free gift of everlasting life. And I pray that that sparks a new fire and a new passion that you too will seek opportunities through God to tell other people about the risen Christ. Till next time, take care. God bless and praise Christ.